helicopter carrying Brian and eight others went down in Calabasas, California, about 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, an area that's difficult to access. The NTSB is now beginning its investigation into the cause of this crash. CBS 2's Christina Fan live now in our newsroom with more on that. Christina? Well, Christina Maurice, we have learned that the pilot actually asked for special permission to fly despite the heavy fog blanketing the area that time of day. And audio from air traffic controllers show that conditions were deteriorating at that time. You can see smoke rising from this steep hillside where a helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant and eight others crashed. As firefighters rushed to extinguish the fire, rescuers from the sky looked for survivors, but there were none. Here we have approximately one acre. We do have one copter down with medium brush. You have smoke. The helicopter went down around 9.45 a.m. Pacific time, about 30 miles northwest of Los Angeles. There was extremely low visibility, the conditions foggy and cloudy. Witnesses say they saw the chopper struggling. I felt like it was flying way too low, and then all of a sudden I hear like a thud noise, and then there was nothing. Investigators are still trying to figure out if weather played a factor. This flight path shows the chopper circling several times around Glendale. Copy that. We'll maintain special VFR copter to Equus. You can hear the pilot requesting special visual flight rules that allow the flight to operate under reduced visibility. Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, a rising basketball star herself, were believed to be flying to a basketball game when the chopper crashed. Also among the victims, Orange Coast College baseball coaching legend John Altobelli. He, his wife, and daughter were all on board. A few hours ago, Costa Mesa's mayor confirming another fatality, a local girls basketball coach, Christina Mauser. And officials just wrapped up a press conference a few minutes ago. They said it may take the coroner's office several days to recover the bodies because of that steep hillside. Reporting live from the newsroom, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.